John chapter 21 verses 3 up to verse number 18. Ready? Let us read together. Simon Peter saith unto them, I go a fishing. They say unto him, We also go with thee. They went forth and entered into a ship immediately, and that night they caught nothing. There is somebody here who was called by God. Hello, are you there? Amen. Peter was called to preach the gospel to the lost. He was called to be a fisher of men. There was one time Peter, as Simon, was fishing fish, and the Lord said to him, From henceforth thou shalt not catch fish, but men. Amen. Simula ngayon, hindi ka na mag-iisda ng isda, tao na ang iyong akayin sa Diyos. Amen. So he was called to fish men. But here comes Peter going back to fishing fish. Hello? A clear backslider. Simon Peter said, I go a fishing. And once you backslide, do not be too selfish and don't think that it's your life. It will affect more. Look. Let us read. They say unto him, We also go, Sabi ko sa iyo eh, Pag ikaw inuna mo ang sarili mo, Bumalik ka dun sa dating ikaw na hindi sumusunod sa Diyos, Don't you ever think that that is your life? It will affect more. Ang sabi nung iba, Sama na lang kami. Total, hindi ka na rin naman maglingkod, Sama mo na kami. That's what happened. Verse number 3, continue. They, and we also go with it. They went forth and entered into a ship. Imi pa. <laughs> they entered into a ship immediately. And look at these proud backsliders. And that night, they caught nothing. They thought they can do it their own. They thought they're good fishermen. They thought they're, they have knowledge. They thought they have talent. They thought they can make it. They did not. Wala silang nagawa. The moment you think you can do it your own, you will run away from God. You will find yourself one day. You are losing. Yes, sir. Pag sinimulan mong layuan ng Diyos, at akala mo kaya mo, akala mo may galing ka, akala mo okay lang, matatagpuan mo na hindi okay. It will never be okay. The greatest of the fishermen before caught nothing. Yes. Uh -huh. They toiled all the night. They caught nothing. Verse 4. Ready? Read. But the disciples knew not that it was Jesus. Verse 5. Did Jesus say to them, Children, have ye any meat? They answered him, No. Sabi ni Lord, No, may nakuha pa kayo? Wala po kaming mauulam. Verse 6, And he said unto them, Cast the net on the right side of the ship, and ye shall find. They cast therefore, and now they were not able to draw it for the multitude of fishes. They were thinking that what will happen if we sell the Lord we cannot eat. Let's go back and try to get some food. Wala tayong magangayin sa ministry. Jesus has proven them wrong. When you serve Christ, He can provide. He can provide on that very day. After that night when they got nothing. Just one side of the, of the sea. And they got so much fish. God can provide. Amen. Verse number 7. Therefore the disciple whom Jesus loved said unto Peter, Peter, it is the Lord. Now when Simon Peter heard that it was the Lord, he girded his fisher's coat unto him. Do you see? A backslider is naked. A faithful Christian dressed right. Amen? You cover yourself. And did cast himself into Malucha. He, 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 he went to the sea and then the Bible tells us, ready? 
Verse number 8. And the other disciples came in a little ship, for they were not far from him from land. But as it were two hundred cubits, dragging them with fishes. As soon then as they were come to the land, they saw a fire of coals there, and fish made their own in bread. Jesus said unto them, Bring up the fish which ye have now caught. Simon Peter went up and drew the net to land full of great fishes, an hundred and fifty and three. And for all there were so many, yet was not the net. Even the net was protected when God is there. Okay. Amen? Okay. May darating ng blessing, no protection ng panang Panginoon, yung pagbuo ng blessing. Kailangan lang yan, Diyos. Verse number uh, 12. Ready, read. <laughs> Jesus, verse 13. This is now the third time that Jesus showed himself to his disciples. After that, he was risen from the dead. Verse 15. So when they had died, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than these? Pagkatapos nilang kumain, hindi talagang pinagalitan, pinakain muna. Pasensya na kayo, pag nagkakalit ako, wala eh. Wala ko may pakain sa inyo. <laughs> they were fed first. And after being fed, nung busog na physically, ayan na, napagalitan na. Simon Peter, Simon son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than these? He said unto him, Ye Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He said unto him, Faith without works is dead. You love me? You preach! Yeah. You love me? Don't go back to fishing! You go back to preach and I will feed you fish! Amen. That's what the Lord was telling you. You really love me? You preach! Amen. Feed my lambs! Disciple people! Teach, teach young Christians about God! Amen. And I will feed you! That's what He did to me! That's what God is dealing! That's God, what He's doing to all the call! God, that's what God is doing to all the preachers who surrender their life. We serve the Lord. We preach the word. We're being fed. Amen. God fed us. We don't have to get fish. We just have to catch men. And God fed our souls. God fed us. God provided our needs. Amen. Amen. Verse number 16. Uh, verse number 17. He said unto him the third time. Uh, sorry, 16, sorry. 16. He said unto him again the second time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? He said unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He said unto him, Feed my sheep. Don't just disciple. You preach to the people of God. Feed my sheep. Verse number 17. Ready, read. Simon, son of Jonas, thou me? Peter was grieved because he had said unto him the third time, Lovest thou me? And he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things. Thou knowest that I love thee. Jesus said unto him, Then feed my sheep. It is not too easy. Yes, it's good to feed sheep, but it's not too easy to feed sheep of God. Mayroon po magpastor, hindi lang basta magpapakain ka, aalagaan mo, paaalalaanan mo, sasabihan mo. Pero sabi niya, mahal mo ba talaga ako? You do your work! Feed my sheep! Verse 18. Verily, verily, I say unto thee, when thou wast young, thou girdest thyself, and walkest with it thou wouldest. But when shalt thou be old, thou shalt stretch forth thy hands, and another shall gird thee, and carry thee whither thou wouldest not. This may he signify by what death he died, crucified, and turned uh, upside down. And when he had spoken this, he said unto him, Follow me. Ay, kayo na po, ay, po. In times of backsliding, in times of backsliding, Brethren, before anything else, I want you to know that you can be a backslider even if you're in church. Hello? Do you believe that? You can be... So what is a backslider? A backslider is someone who got saved. Pakinan niyo po ba? Ang isang backslider yung tao na ligtas, 
Pagkatapos na kagawa ng ibang mga bagay para sa Panginoon, may mga iniwanang bagay para sa Panginoon. Ngunit dumating sa punto na dahil siya ay nabubuhay sa karnaliti, habang siya ay nabubuhay sa karnaliti, habang siya ay nawawala ng pananampalataya, naisipan niyang balikan yung mga dati niya ng iniwanan. Una muna, bago niya balikan, naisipan niya muna isipin yung mga hindi niya na iniisip noon. Naisipan niyang gawin yung mga bagay na ginagawa niya noon. At doon, napuno siya ng sarili. The backslider in heart is filled with his own ways. You don't think about your pastor. You don't think about your church member. You don't think about your family. You think of your own. You think of yourself. You think of your own dream. You think of your own plans. That's what is a backslider. You can never be blessed. You can never enjoy life if you're a backslider. If you're watching today and you are a child of God, you will never enjoy life if you're a backslider. Pag merong mga backslider, hindi nila ma-enjoy ang buhay. May mga kinausap na akong magbalik ka sa Diyos na subukan mong lumayo, nasira ang buhay mo, huwag kang makulit, makulit pa din. They will never enjoy life when you're a backslider. You will be filled with yourself. And you can even be in the church if you're a backslider. Hello, are you with me? I can even preach while I'm a backslider. Kaya lang peke, walang power. Buga lang ng buga ng bibig. Are you with me? I can do things even if I'm a backslider. A backslider, it starts in the heart. Sa tuwing ang focus ng isip mo ay hindi na things above, things on earth na. Sa tuwing focus ng isip mo yung mga bagay na gusto mo lang at hindi yung gusto ng Panginoon, you're becoming backslider in our And Peter started to disobey the Lord. Peter started to fail. Peter started to leave his calling. But praise God, Christ was there, amen? And Christ saw him and Christ called him back and he realized he was far from the Lord. Ang backslider pa ko sa pastor. Narik na mo tumalon. Hello? Jesus Christ was the pastor then. He was the preacher then. Siya ho ang leader ng church niya. He is the first pastor of the first church. And he is still the pastor of this church. Christ has never been taken away of that place. The first and the great shepherd of the sheep. We're just under shepherds. Hello? Christ was there all along. Hindi sila iniwani ng Panginoon. Alam ng Diyos na umalis sila. Nagaantay lang Diyos na magbalik sila. Salamat at pumalik siya. Sa tuwing ikaw ay nasa ganung stage, lahat tayo pwedeng maging ganun. Lahat tayo pwedeng mapunta sa stage na ang iniisip mo, karnal, ang iniisip mo, mga pangarap mo, hindi yung gusto ng Diyos sa'yo. Wala ka ng Bible reading, wala ka ng prayer life, puro wala ng sarili. Mas masarap sa'yo humagsin kaysa ang present. Mas masarap sa'yo huwag magbigay kaysa magbigay. Mas masarap sa'yo huwag magsolwini kaysa magsolwini. Baka akala mo okay yan. Baka akala mo magaling ka. Baka akala mo may enjoy mo. Hindi. Siya nga magaling na eh. Yun yung kailangan namin isipin. There are times when I am tempted to quit. And telling myself I can earn in so many ways. Pwede akong maganito, pwede akong maganyan. Pero salamat may John chapter 21! Kasi nung nakita ko si Peter na magaling mag-stay, walang nakuha. Sa tuwing niisipin ko, Teka, mas magkakapera naman ako kung nalayo ako sa ministry. Teka, pag tinigil ko ito, matatagal ang bagong ko, matatagal ang stress ko, at pwede ako yumaman. Pero Teka, babalik ako dito, magaling mag-isda, kilala ang bagong isda, walang isda. Buong gabing nagtrabaho, walang nakuha. Bakit? Kasi wala sa panawagan ng Panginoon. Kaya nga kahit wala ka sa palaistahan, kahit wala ka sa pera, kahit wala ka sa sikat na lugar, pag ang Diyos ay kasama mo, kaya niyang maghimala sa buhay mo. That's the life when God is in it. Sabi nga ng kanta, little is much when God is in it. When God is there, when God needs, He can provide the needs. Amen? Amen? So, Pastor, what should I do when backsliding strikes? 
when the spirit of backsliding in there is or when that when that thought when that heart this deceitful heart would tell me to stop serving God in times of backsliding ano ka na isang ano yung commercial na nyo in times like this you need juicy fruit ka <laughs> so tama di ba sa mga panahon na gano'n pero ngayon sa panahon na ganito in times of backsliding what do you need Peter had what he needed praise God Amen. hello we know what happened at, Pent at Pentecost he preached he went back Amen, Amen. hello Amen. he preached 4,000 went to church. He preached, 8,000 went to the Lord. Can you imagine that? Yun yung ipinagpalit niya. Hindi niya nakikita pa noon. Nagigit si Momo. Ang diablo po, bulaging kasakayang ibigay sa'yo yung pagtumakslide mo. Pag namiss na ako, marami akong drama ako. May pera ako. Pag nagpastor ako, ang mangyayari sa akin. Pag nandun ako, magugutom ako. Hindi pinapakita ng Diablo sa kanya, may 4,000 na maliligtas doon, may 8,000 na maliligtas doon, may 1 Peter, may 2 Peter na may susunan, marami ka pang magagawa, hindi lang iyan ang magagawa mo, maraming mababago ang buhay, maraming matatayong simbahan, marami kang magagawa, pwede may mangyari sa mga anak mo, pwede pagpalain ang lahi mo, pwede kami magawa sa iyong church, marami ka pang magagawa, but the devil will block it out. Amen. He will just tell you that it's good to eat fish. You see how selfish a backslider's heart? Would you exchange that fish to that to those things? He did not know it. Praise God, Christ was there. He was reminded of what can happen. Kasi ang pagpapala, wala sa isda ang pagpapala na sa panawagan ng Panginoon. Hindi ka man tawagin ng Diyos magpastor, hindi ka man tawagin magpastor's wife, hindi ka man tawagin mag full time, pero sa bawat individual ng Kristiyano, may nais ang Diyos na gawin ka sa iyong buhay, may nais ang Diyos na iyakbang mo sa pananagpalataya, may nais ang Diyos na paglingkuran mo siya, at alam mo yan, alam mo yan! Pero ang Diyano laging hinaharangan yan. <laughs> Pinapafocus ka sa mga bagay, nakala mo malaki yung hindi tambahan. In times of backsliding, what do we need? Peter had what he needed. And that's the thing that led him back to God, led him back to preaching, and made him one of the best apostles ever. Amen? Kaya siya Peter ngayon. Kasi dumating sa point na ayaw niya na, Dumating sa point na mangingisda na lang siya. Pinaalalaan siya ng Diyos, hindi yan ang trabaho mo na may mas maganda kang trabaho. Are you with me? Yeah. What did Peter need that he got that put him back to God? In times of backsliding, number one, you need to remember your conversion. You need to remember your conversion. And take the helmet of salvation. And take the helmet of salvation. Peter was reminded he was saved. Hello, are you still with me? Yeah. Look at what the, what the Lord said. John chapter 21. In times of backsliding, huwag kang magpadaya. Hindi mo kaya, kapatid kong mahal, kung ligtas ka. Kung tunay kang ligtas, hindi mo kaya na layuan ng Diyos. Ano yung ibig sabihin po? Sorry, parang kayo ko naman, hindi ka magiging masaya. Hindi ka pagpapalain. Isipin mo magkakalahi ka. Isipin mo yung mga taong maapektuhan. Isipin mo yung mga pwedeng mangyari. Pero isipin mo rin naman kung maglilitod ka sa Diyos. Ano yung pwede niyang gawin sa buhay mo? Ano yung pwede niyang gawin sa future mo? Ano yung pwede niyang gawin sa sarili mo? Sa isang buhay! Sa isang buhay! We had an anniversary last time and all I had before was me! And that just God told me, go and serve me. And that's it. I don't see anything. But praise God, there is a mission working with the heart. There is a mission working with Tuluba. And we had much last Sunday. Why? Because there was me who obeyed God. Amen. So is it me? No, it's God. Ang ibig ko lang sabihin mga kapatid, yun ang kayang gawin ng Diyos sa isang buhay mo. 
yung isang buhay mo, pinili mo pa yung para sa sarili mo lang, hindi mo makikita kung ano at gano'ng kalaki ang pwedeng magawa ng Diyos kung susundin natin siya. Peter remembered his salvation. Verse number 15, are you there? Say Amen. So when they had died, Jesus saith to Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonas, love is me. The Lord told him one day, open your Bibles to the book of John, John chapter 1, John chapter 1, John chapter 1, if you're there, say Amen. Ready, go. Verse 42. Ready, 42. Are you there? Yeah. Go. And he brought him to Jesus. And when Jesus beheld him, he said, Thou art Simon, son of Jonah. Thou shalt be called Cephas. Your name will not become Simon. Your name now is Cephas. That's Peter. You will now be called Peter. But when he was there backsliding stage, God told him, Jesus said, Simon, son of Jonah. You were Simon, son of Jonah, but you became Peter. You got saved. I don't know what's really in the mind of the Lord and what's in the mind of Peter. But I believe as a child of God, that time, that time, Peter remembered God's calling. Peter remembered God's conversion. He remembered when he got saved. He remembered when he turned to the Lord. Hello. Na 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 niya, oh nga no, iba ako noon eh, iba ako ngayon. Ba't hindi to ako sa dati ako? Oo, pwedeng ligtas na siya nung nangingis na pa lang siya. Pero malinaw na malinaw, alam niya na hindi tama ang ginagawa niya. Kaya nga siya ako noon eh. Oh, ba't ba siya? Are you with me? Peter remembered his conversion and take the helmet of salvation. The sword of the spirit, which is order. Every time backsliding will hunt your heart. Every time that flesh and your deceitful heart will tell you to, to be not faithful, to leave God, to obey the world, to love the world, remember your salvation. Amen. That one day in your life, God, heaven came down and glory filled your soul. Alalaanin mo nung araw na naligtas ka. Alalaanin mo yung araw na nabago ka. Alalaanin mo yung araw na nilagyan ka ng kaligtasan ng Panginoon. Alalaanin mo nung araw na tinawag ka ng Diyos. Brethren, in that stage, he went back, he started to go back to God because he was reminded of his salvation. He was reminded of his conversion. Number two, he was reminded of the change in his life. Please remind yourself. Please remind yourself. Binago ako ng Panginoon. Hindi na ako ito. Bakit ba ako nagmumura ulit? Hindi na ako nagmumura. Bakit ba ako nagkaganito ulit? Hindi na ako nagkaganito. If you're really safe today, listen, you have changed by God. Remember those changes in your life. Hindi ako nagbibigay noon. Hindi ako nagtatapat noon. Walang delight sa akin ang salita ng God. And suddenly God changed me. Amen. I have to remember that, Lord, thank you for changing my life. I have to go back to you. He was reminded of his conversion. He was reminded of the change. Changes in his life. And he was reminded of, it, reminded of his calling. Uh, Peter was reminded of his calling. Are you with me? Yeah. Hello? Luke chapter 5, verse 10. If you're there, say Amen. Amen. Are you ready? Verse number 10. Ready? Read. And so was also James and John the sons of Zebedee, which were partners with Simon. And Jesus said unto Simon, Fear not. Fear not. Huwag kang matakot sa gutom. Pag nilayuan ko to, Lord, wala akong kakainin. Fear na. Pag sinunod kita, Lord, baka mamaya pagalitan ako ng nanay at tatay ko. Fear na. Lord, pag nagtamat ako, baka mamaya yung mga pangarap ko, hindi ko maabot. Fear na. Baka may kokontra sa akin, baka may pumatay sa akin. Fear na. Baka may mangyari sa akin, masama, baka itiwanan ako ng asawa ko, baka hindi, baka mabuto mga anak ko. Fear na. The Bible tells us when God commanded 
commanded Peter to leave his work. When God commanded Peter to leave fishing, God said, Fear not! Amen. Since God provided his needs. Gumaling pa nga yung biyanan niya eh. When his mother-in-law was sick, Christ healed her. There are so many miracles in Peter's life because he obeyed the Lord. And he remembered this time. Anong sabi? Fear not. Why? From henceforth. Ready? Say amen. Verse 10 of Luke chapter 5. Luke chapter 5 verse 10. You see the word fear not? What was the following words? From henceforth thou shalt catch men. From starting today, Peter, you will not fish anymore. Fear not of the food. Fear not of the blessing. Fear not of the needs. Fear not of what will they say. From starting today, you will serve me, Peter. And from that day, he was called to preach. And on John chapter number 20, 21, he was reminded of that. Verse number 15. He was reminded of that. Verse number 15. Are you ready? Say amen. amen. So when they had died, Jesus saith to Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than these? He said unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He said to him, Remember your calling. Feed my lambs. That's your word, Peter. You are not called to preach if you are not a preacher. Are you with me, Christians? But remember the times when God was talking to you personally. Hello? Do you remember the times when God talked to you personally? Through His Word, He reminded you, He told you, Do this. Do this. Do this. You serve me. Don't work on this time of worship. You serve me. Don't do that. Stop it. Serve me. God has spoken to the hearts of His people since the time of salvation. Simula nung naligtas ka, ang Panginoon ay nakipag-usap sa'yo. Meron siyang pinagawa sa noon na ginawa mo na patunayan mo makapangyarihan siya. Nung ginawa mo na patunayan mo siyang iyong pananggalahan. Nung ginawa mo na patunayan mo siyang magpro-provide. Nung ginawa mo na patunayan mo hindi kanya iniiwan. Pero habang nagpapasay ka, malilimutan mo yan. Habang nagpapasay ka, makawala sa isip mo yan. Remember the time you were called. Amen. Remember the time when God told you that. And when you obeyed the Lord. And you were saved by the Lord. Hindi sa nation na kanuntasa. Yung isinan mo ka ng Diyos dahil sinunod mo siya. Dahil ginawa mo yung gusto niya. Kaya sa tuwing magpa-backslide kayo, alalaanin niyo yun. Hindi mo nung sinunod mo siya, bakit yun hindi mo na siya masunod? Bakit yun hindi mo na magawa? Yung dating ginawa mo naman, hindi kanya pinabayaan. Naging masaya ka naman at maramdaman mo rin naman. Listen, listen, listen well. If you have been a Christian for many times, if you have been a Christian for many years, listen to this. You have experienced to be blessed and you have experienced nothing when you disobey. Hello? As a Christian, pakinggan niyo po, bilang Christiano, marami ng panahon na sumunod ako sa Diyos at pinagpara ako. Marami rin namang panahon, hindi naman bago. Kung magpa-backslide ako, hindi na bago. Nangyari na rin noon na hindi ko sinunod ng Diyos. Walang nangyari sa akin. So, dalawang titignan mo sa nakaraan. Pag nasa backsliding stage ka, alalahanin mo ng panahon na sinunod mo ang Diyos at sinalba ka niya. Alalahanin mo yung panahon na pinagpala ka ng Panginoon. Alalahanin mo rin yung panahon na hindi mo naman siya sinunod. Naging masaya ka ba? Teka. Parang ganito rin dati. Pinag-enjoy ako. Meron pa gano'n sa inyo? Kung krisyano ka, you enjoy the results of sin, maybe the pleasure of sin, but never the results of sin. Because the result of sin in a Christian's life is always ruin. Ruining, it's always chaos. It's always nothing. It's always empty. Meron pa magsasabi sa inyo, hindi, pag inaalala ko, marap yung pagpapala ng pag hindi ko pagsunod sa inyo. Wala! Naging malungkot ka! Naging dry ang buhay mo! Naging powerless ka! Nandamay ka pa na mga mahal mo sa buhay! Walang nangyari! So pag nandudong ka na, alalahanin mo nung tinamay ka. Okay. Alalahanin mo nung nakusap sa sa'yo at sinunod mo siya. At para naman maintindihan mo rin, huwag kang magpabunat. Nagpaksahin ka na rin noon, hindi ka naman naging masaya. Bakit mo papipiliin yan ngayon? 
When Peter was in that stage, he remembered his calling. Number four. Number four. Praise God. When Peter was in that stage, God's chances was introduced to him. Our God is a God of second chances. He was reminded not of just his calling. He was reminded, or he was confirmed by the Lord. It was confirmed by the Lord. Peter, you can preach again. Hello? He said, the Lord, Loko ka, pinili mo pa rin yan. Sa kabila na ginawa ko sa'yo, dyan ka na, mamatay ka na dyan. No. God said, you can go back. There is still a way. There is still a way to that prodigal son to go back. Why? His father was waiting for a far away. It was not in the house. He saw his dad there waiting. There is a chance to go back. Don't you ever stay on that dry land. Don't you ever stay on that empty land. Don't you ever stay on that sinful land. Try to look back and see you have a God of second chances. Mayroon kang Diyos na nagbibigay ng pangalawang pagkakadoon. Mahal ka niya. Pinatawad ka niya. Tinawad Pinaglingkuran mo siya. Balikan mo siya. Because He's a God of second chances. He's giving chances to those people who we call. He was reminded of chances, of God's second chances. Hello? Hello? Last but not the least, mga kapatid ko man. Ephesians chapter 3, verse 19. Ephesians chapter 3, verse 9. Ready, read. And to know the love of Christ, which passeth knowledge, that ye might be filled with all the fullness of God. And when he was moved with compassion, he saw the multitude, he was moved with compassion, and he saw the multitude, they were fainting, scattered abroad as you have been. What moves Christ? What moves God's people to go back in times of backsliding? Same thing. Love. He was reminded of compassion. When he was there looking on fish, ang itong tinignan niya, doon talaga siya. Masarap yun. Kung nakaraan, nagluto ko ng isna, isang buong malaki. The oldest na minimum days. Sarap eh. Ang sarap. Kaya kung ito ang gumana kay Peter, wala. Kaya binusog muna siya ni Lord eh. Para hindi niya naisipin to. Kasi si Lord ang bahala dito. Kaya nang tinignan niya ng isda, tama. Are you with me? Hello? Love you for life. Hello? Pagbusog ka na, kaya yung mga pinagnanasahan mo, nakakala mo okay, pag iniwanan mo ang Panginoon, pag nakuha mo na yan, huwag sa kabuhay mo. Nakala mo, ganun pa kasarap? Hindi. Ganun ka pa eh. That's what I'm telling myself. Every time Satan tempts me, I'm telling myself, it's not just that. It will end to bitterness. It will end to nothing. It will ruin my life. It will ruin my wife. It will ruin my son. And then it's, why? It's nothing. Nung nakita niya yung pagkain, tama, si Lord. Pag busog pala, wala pa lang kwenta to. Bakit ba ako umalis? Ano sabi ni Lord? Simon, son of Jonas, love is not me. Hello? Hello? Child of God, it's not about the money that you can get. It's not about the health that you can get. It's not about all those things. It's about love. Do you really love the Lord? What can move you to go back and serve the Lord, Peter? God knows. Alam ni Cristo kung ano ang magpapabalik sa Kanya. Kasi kung magpapabalik lang sa iyo, blessing yung pagkain lang, hindi iiwan mo ulit yun sa pangingisda. Kung magpapabalik lang sa iyo, yung mga kaya ni Son ng Panginoon, ang problema mo, kahit kaya niya, babalik ka lang din. Pero kung totoo, mahal mo siya, kapatid, kahit walang blessing, kahit parang mahirap, kahit parang nakakabangot, kahit parang tatawanan ka ng iba, kung babahalin mo talaga ang Panginoon, magkagawa mo ang nice niya sa buhay mo, masusunod mo siya, bakit ako magtatamad, bakit ko iwanan ang kasalanan, bakit ako maglilikod muli, higit 
sa lahat o Diyos. Kasi mahal kita. Amen. Kasi minahal mo ko. That's what you should remember when you love God. He first loved you. Peter knew that if he loved the Lord, he knew one thing. God first loved him. And that love, ladies and gentlemen, listen, is from everlasting to everlasting. That love is an everlasting love of God. Amen. You will find out that that love is better than life. Life without the love of God is not life at all. Praise God, that love is a forever love. He's there all along, waiting to Peter to go back. For he loves him, his Lord. Mahal niya si Pedro. Mahal ka niya, mahal niya ako. Anong mahal mo ba siya? Go back to God. Go back to God. Ladies and gentlemen, in times of Max Nighting, do not be deceived of the devil. Do not be deceived of this deceitful heart and mind. Remember your conversion. Remember God has changed you. Remember His calling. The times when you were obeying the Lord. The times you know that God was speaking to your heart. Remember that there is a chance. You're serving a God that gives chances. You're serving a God that no matter what you have done, no matter how wrong you did, He can still forgive. If you will go back, you can still enjoy God. Because He's the God of second chances. And He's a God of compassion. He's a God who loves you. And there is something that can take you back to Him. Love for God. God bless you folks. Don't be deceived. Go back to God. Tumayo po tayo lang.